Hi everyone, I'm here today joined with Stephanie Six, who's the illustrator of What Daddy's Like, which comes out April 11th. I wanted to ask her a few questions today since we have her in the office, so she's graciously agreed to do that. And the first question I wanted to ask is, how did you get started as an illustrator? Well, I was always that kid who, after lights were out, I was under the blanket with a flashlight reading a book. I just loved books and how I felt like I had all these little friends who were waiting for me there and these beautiful worlds that the artists would make. Mm -hmm. So I kept on reading and I also kept on drawing. I love drawing animals. I always have. And I have this huge book of Audubon animals and sit next to it and just copy the animals, which was a great time to pass a Saturday, if you ask me, yeah, as a five-year-old. That sounds great. <laughs> and then I had kind of a revelation in third grade. We had this teacher and she would always do a story time. So one time the book was Julie of the Wolves and she introduced it and said this is Julie of the Wolves written by Jean Craighead George and illustrated by, Sh by John Schoenher. Mm -hmm. And I said, excuse me, what is that? What is an illustrator? I'd never heard that word out loud before. So then she explained that an illustrator is somebody who makes the pictures that go in books. So I really got thinking about maybe I could do that as a grown up. So that was a really big moment for me. So you've known since about third grade where you've had an idea of what you wanted to do. I'm 26 <laughs> and I still have no idea what I want to do, so. It's a lifelong journey. We're all, we're all figuring it, sure it out. It sure is, yeah. <laughs> My next question is, what is your favorite thing about being an artist? I really love that feeling when you have a blank piece of paper in front of you and then half an hour, an hour later, you literally have a little friend looking back at you. Just that feeling that you can create something, Yeah. nothing can replicate that. That sounds awesome. And can you tell us a little bit about your book, What Dad yeah. is Like? So What Dad is Like is a story all about a dad and his relationship with his cub. And what I really love about this book is how it celebrates those moments that seem kind of everyday or mundane, but actually that's when we really bond with the people that we love. So mm -hmm. I think this is a really special book celebrating that. What was your inspiration behind your characters? So these little guys actually came from a doodle in my sketchbook, and I had been really into drawing animals um, in sweaters at the time. I was kind of cycling through like what animals I like to draw most. Right now it's chickens, I'm very okay. into chickens. But then back then it was animals in sweaters. So I drew this, drew this gray bear mm -hmm. in a blue sweater and green plaid pants, and he felt like he needed a little pal. <laughs> so I gave him one, and then it turned out that they got paired with Judy's beautiful manuscript, and okay. here we are. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the most surprising thing about getting published? The most surprising thing about getting published was probably how cool it felt when I opened up the box of physical books, and I actually got to like hold this in my hand and turn the pages, and it was something that I had worked on for so long, and that was just such a great feeling. Can you tell us a little bit about your process involved in making the pages for the book? I have kind of a long process. First, it starts with a manuscript, and I'll print it out and just kind of doodle on it and write down ideas for each spread. Are they all different feeling enough? Are we gonna get to go to some fun places that kids are gonna wanna go? Um, a good example would be this spread that starts with, Daddy's like, good morning to you. So this could really be anything if you think of the words, right? It could mm -hmm. be the sun rising, it could be brushing teeth. But in my mind, I was like, what is my best morning? Right. And that involves food, and that involves pancakes, and that involves hanging out with somebody who I love. Right. So I figured that wrapping all those things together would make the best good morning to you page. Okay, <laughs> it looks pretty yummy. So besides these bears and besides chickens, what other <laughs> sorts of characters do you like to draw? I like drawing characters that are silly and feel like they have a personality right away. Mm -hmm. And I love how living in New York, there's characters all around. Like, I'll just be on the train and I'll see someone wearing like a yeah. silly hat. I'm like, oh, that would make such a great character and I'll go home and draw it. So there's a lot of inspiration you can draw just from being in some place as dynamic as New York City. Oh, absolutely. Or even a place as boring or scary as the dentist office. Right. You could be sitting next to someone who's pretty interesting. What advice do you have for aspiring illustrators? I would say to keep a sketchbook. That is definitely the most important tool that I have in my toolbox. I always go back to it for inspiration. Even like five years ago, like I was just looking through an old sketchbook mm -hmm. and I was like, there's some cool stuff here. I wonder what I was thinking when I was drawing this. Yeah. And I would say never stop and keep making things that make you happy. Stephanie was kind enough to prepare this illustration for us and we're going to be giving this away to a lucky commenter. To enter all you have to do is comment in the comment section below asking another question of Stephanie. Anything that we haven't talked about in the video 
although we have covered a lot. I'm sure there's more that you guys want to know about being an illustrator and the sort of work that goes into that. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll be back next week with another video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.